Today, we're building a rabbit tractor. So I want to put the rabbits in a colony setup. But to do that, the grow outs are going to need a tractor that they can grow out in so they don't overcrowd the colony. In addition, I don't want the two girls to be in that dog kennel for very long. And this build is going to take an afternoon while the other build is going to take a little bit. So let's get started. Go over in the materials. You need one helper puppy. Optional, but it does help. <laughs> and total, I am using um, four. These were two by threes that I have ripped in half with my little saw right there. Um, I took one of them, and I'm going to do another one too. And I've um, cut them down to 22 inches long. And that is because our wire is two foot or 24 inches, but I have to take into account <clears throat> um, the length of the sides. And if these are 24 inches, then I won't be able to staple the wire onto the sides. Um, I will also be cutting out several braces um, just out of scrap. I've got um, a scrap piece of um, pretty thin plywood that um, I've cut down to 22 inches tall. We've got this two by three wire and one panel of roofing and then screws. There are all my other boards. Let's do this. Today is day two of the rabbit tractor build. Um, we worked on it for three hours yesterday, um, but we got a late start, and so I'm gonna finish it this morning. Show you what we've done so far. So I put the plywood on the back half, and I still haven't decided if I'm gonna put wire here or try to find some more scrap plywood or what. <clears throat> um, and we've got wire all the way around the other way. I still need to put some more staples in it. I just got some of the big staples in it to get it on and held in place. Um, but I'm using quite a bit of staples. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Like we've got the big fence staples and then I've got my regular staples like every couple of squares. I would rather this be super sturdy and overkill than any chance at, um, since we do deal with a predator problem. I want this to be Fort Knox. Um, so we did overlap the wire and the board by several inches. And again, I, we did three fence staples, um, top and bottom, and then every couple of um, spaces, or just about every space, I did staples. And the basic build of this is just three rectangles. You've got the bottom with no support and then two rectangles right on top of each other with middle supports. Um, we put the hinges on and then, of course I can't go out in the latch and this opens up so we'll be able to access the rabbits. So yeah, the only thing left to do is <clears throat> extra staples for that and putting the roof on. Let's get to it.
finished product. Wire on the bottom, this on the top. I was goofy and this is on the sidebar. So when I went to drill this, drill this in, it wasn't actually hitting that front bar, so I had to come in at an angle on this one and that one. And then for this one, I just came in at the top. It divots it a little bit, it'll be all right. I wanted to make sure it was good and on there because we're about to get a storm. Enjoying the outside for just a little bit longer. All right, on this side, I left the top open so they could get ventilation and I tucked the wire back behind this. Um, I am, I guess we're not done. I'm gonna put at least two fence staples in here, maybe three. Um, and it does extend to right here. Um, there are a couple of small gaps, um, but a big predator won't be able to get through. And this will provide them um, a three-sided weather protection for the most part. Um, but still allow a cross breeze where they can get up in, out from the wind and rain on all sides. And it just latches and opens. Um, I kind of want to put some kind of partition in here too, so it'll almost be like a den, but that way I can um, also put their food and water in here this way so that it's not on the outside. I'm not having to cut their wire to hang a feeder. Um, but we'll see. And I will also add a handle, but that will come later so I can pull it. But for now, this is it. The storm's about to hit. 